pretty slides, but I think you know what we look like right down the street. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much for that nice introduction. And yes, I think part of our responsibility that has been um, part of the garden's um, uh, process for the past few years is to be a good neighbor, and I hope that we are a good neighbor for you. So I thought that I would update you on a few things. One, we think a good neighbor gives back to the community. And uh, just as recent as uh, a few weeks ago, I'm not sure you're aware, but we do quite a bit with um, the Salvation Army and the mayor's office, and we helped distribute over 4,000 backpacks um, and services to kids that were going back to school this year, and those are all for the, the city of Boston. I have to tell you, it's probably one of my favorite events um, because these kids come into the building and we lower the banners and they get to shoot on the hoop where the Celtics play and they get to shoot on the new net where the Bruins get to play and their eyes are so big. And, you know what, we said that we're a, a building of champions and we're trying to send them back to school and feel like they're champions as well and you know how important it is to get everybody to feel good about going back to school. It's, it's not easy. I'm trying to shoot my kids off this week so um, it's, that's, that's a good program for us. We've also continued to do the Table of Friends um, in November where we feed about 900 to 1,000 of Boston's homeless. They come down on the floor and uh, they um, are get a Thanksgiving meal. And interestingly enough, it's kind of nice because they are um, fed most of the time by either alumni and, and, and local sports celebrities and, and ownership. I mean, you can get mashed potatoes from Cam Neely and you get out a little bit and Jackie McMullen is giving out vegetables. It's a really nice event for us. It has grown, unfortunately, it was a few hundred the first few years we started. Um, probably 17 years ago, and now it's probably close to a thousand people. Um, and the other one you'll see is, and, and the, all the, it's important for us, for our associates to give back as well, but we participate in the Boston Shines event as well, where our group goes out and cleans up, um, puts t-shirts on, and we go around and, and we clean up the neighborhood. Um, so it, those are just a few of the things I think from a community standpoint. I think it's also important for us to make sure that the area around us uh, continues to improve and we have some development going on as well. Uh, I believe uh, Boston Properties is coming on the 16th to address the development that's taking place in our front lot. We jokingly say that's probably been the most expensive parking lot in all of Boston for a long time. Uh, but we're very excited that uh, we're going to be opening up a, a mixed-use area that is retail, hotel, uh, or in a residential. Um, it is, we have needed a front door for a very long time. You know, when the garden came down, the intent was for that development to start probably 15 years ago. And just trends in the marketplace, office space, everything that's taken place, we're, we're excited that it's finally here now. We're hoping to be, uh, start construction the end of 14 and completed by um, 2016. And uh, we really think it's just going to continue to revitalize the area. I know the supermarket is a is a big topic. Please know that I that's something that um, the group is working on. Boston Properties will will talk a little bit more about it when they come into the neighborhood um, in a couple of weeks as well. But we're very excited about it. We need a new front door. It helps with the commuters. We think it'll help um, with the businesses in the area and just you know it'll make it even more vibrant than it is today. Uh, I also, um, if you've noticed that there's some construction that's going on, we've taken over the lease of the North Station Garage. It's a 75-year lease. Uh, we've worked hard to make improvements to the garage. It needed um, a lot of uh, TLC uh, from a capital standpoint in making it safe for, the, for our patrons, but also um, we are opening up a ramp on the, on the one side of the building that's closest um, to the highway because we needed the, the traffic relief coming out the other side was quite a bit, and it was always built that way. Um, there was always that spot to, to create that exit, that, ex that exit, and it had not been developed. So if you walk by now, you'll see a little bit of that taking place. We think that's going to help with the traffic um, that is coming out and going right south shore versus 
what's going north on 93 out the other side. Um, and then certainly we're known for our events, and uh, I'm happy to say that there's no lockouts this year, that we have long-term um, labor agreements with both the NHL and the NBA, so I know how that affects your businesses. Um, it affects everyone, so we're very happy that that's that we're going to have a good start. Um, you know, the Bruins season went pretty long this year. We had a really short off season. I can't believe it starts next week with training camp. Uh, but we're looking forward to both the Bruins being successful as well. And I actually think the Celtics um, are going to do just great. I think they're in a rebuilding. I think their new coach is going to come on board and, and re-energize as well. But also part of our responsibility is also making sure that we bring some national events to Boston. Um, we've worked very hard in 2014, actually in January, we're hosting the U.S. Figure Skating Championships. Those are the people that when they win here in Boston will go represent us um, at Sochi in the Olympics. Um, it's a great event. It's a week-long event. There's a lot of people from out of town that are here, restaurants, hotels, visitors walking around in January. Uh, and then in 2016, we were awarded the World Figure Skating Championships, which is an international event, which also brings in over a week of tourism. Uh, we continue to bid on NCAA events. I know those have been very well received in the city uh, with the Frozen Four and men's basketball. Um, and the concert schedule for us has been very good as well this year. We have 13 more concerts by the end of this year, and we're starting to book into next year. And the concert business for us is is sort of up and down. You can never tell who's going to who's gonna come out, but we're, we're happy with the mix that we have right now, and, and we're looking forward to a good rest of our uh, season. So I'm here for questions as well. We, um, we appreciate the support that we've always gotten from the North End, and we continue to hope to be a good neighbor and partner. Thank you. Sure. Nobody's asked me for tickets. I've never left a room without somebody else. <laughs> Just teasing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.